No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I got a guest coming, and I do have um, my other hosts coming in. They're gonna be a little bit late today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself started. All right. You are now tuned in to WRFU 104.5 FM. This is Conscious Community Connections, where we keep the community connected. I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can't hear me. My my computer's acting up, so I can't even go live right now, but I'm finna go live on the airwaves, all right? Let me know if you can't hear me. Hey, 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 what's going on? This is WRFU 104.5 FM. It is now 6.01, and I need to read my disclaimer. So, WRFU is an open forum for Urbana Champagne in our online communities, and for our online communities. Views expressed are those of the speakers and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Urbana Socialist Forum. This is Conscious Community Connections, where we keep the community connected. So every Saturday we go live. I stream live from my actual personal page, and that is Heather Rose, R-O-S-E, like the flower. Every single Saturday we are on here um, on the actual airways from 6 to 7 30. I should be recording my actual show right now but my computer is like running so slow I don't know what's wrong with it so I know everybody can actually hear me on the actual show right now is this in the future we like to um, hear ourselves <laughs> uh, later on but I can't actually press record on my show right now so bear with me i am in here right now by myself but at the same time the show must go on i still do my own little thing i do know and understand that it was rainy all day today and it kind of dampered um the things that were going on today and i know for sure that we had a celebration at douglas and it was juneteenth Juneteenth is a very, very important day um, for the uh, brown and um, the brown community. It should be. Some people don't even know what it is. Some people don't even know how to celebrate this particular day. But at the same time, I was going to go, but it got rained out. So since it got rained out, I did not show up. Um, I should have. I usually do, but I had to make sure that my vibe was okay, all right? And meaning my vibe, I go off energy. I'm a very spiritual person. So if my energy is not correct, I cannot go into someone else's establishment and be myself, okay? So I try to make sure that I am the best person that I possibly can be and present myself in a well manner. So today, it was that type of day, it was raining. Um, I did, you know, listen to my little meditation mu music for about a good six hours. <laughs> hey, how you doing, baby? Um, but at the same time, um, I'm at a level right now where I'm on a wave frequency that, um, can't nobody mess with me. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. Um, you're not, you're not finna get me, you know, to, you know, go crazy. But anyway, I'm just blabbing and running my mouth so juneteenth is a very important day please do your research on this particular day basically this day was when uh basically the last set or i should say the last people the last of the brown people to actually be free and actually not be considered you know slaves now if you can't see me it's the air quotes the slaves all right even though we're still in a slave type of world but anyway um that was an important day uh there is some misguided some crazy maybe words that shouldn't be in the definition of what this particular day is some people are included some people should be taken out of this particular whatever day it should be i should say to certain people certain people did not um 
make this day the way it should be viewed as. I'm sorry, I just messed that up, but um, do your own research. Um, some people made it possible for that particular day. Some people just were named and like put in the clause of the definition, and they should maybe be uh, be taken out of that. Anyway. I do my own thing. I have somebody looking at me right now, but I do my own thing when I am on here by myself. My uncle, he is a vet, and he came to my house, and he's been and he's been sent over to Panama, and he's been sent over to Bosnia, and he has served his time in the military. I should say the army in which he was a. Uh, an engineer, a combat engineer, I do believe that's the right name. And he was basically serving time over in two different uh, countries, in Bosnia and, uh, and Panama. And he got these distinctive, like, medals and honors, in which he received this medal and honor from his past um, sergeant from way back when, I think he was like in Germany or something. Once he received this particular medal, it was so surprising to him that he was the first black engineer to receive this particular medal. And he brought it to me and was just basically like, can you say this? So my hat's off and my shout out to my uncle. He has no kids and he served time in which he is a vet that is suffering from basically not getting the help that he needs from the actual government and actually recognizing people that have served the time in protecting us, meaning the Americans. And I just want to say I love you, Uncle, Uncle Decky. You are a amazing person, and I want you to know I love you, okay? I ain't tearing up or nothing, but, you know, my family know how I am with my my love I ain't a little bit um shut up so uh, I'm just you know a little sensitive with my with my love and stuff you know so anyway we gonna move on I cannot read um the people that are actually saying what they need to on there I see my cousin her name on there but yes I'm blabbing on trying to kill time because I see my people's done rolled in. He Literally. gonna get it. He gonna get it. He gonna it sound get like it. Over. Let me see. But Tiger what is say? here. Thank you. I can't see a thing. You can't see a thing. No, it say hello, hello, somebody. That's Jennifer, my cousin. Yeah, Jennifer and Martez Miller. And, uh, no, they waving and stuff. Go okay. on, you need your glasses. I'm not fooling with you. Ugh, you need this mic on, don't you? I shouldn't turn it on. Turn on that mic, man. Whatever. What you doing today? You look nice. Thank you. What up, Champagne? What? Yes, thank you what so up? much. What up, Urbana? My, um... Champagne? My computer was acting up, so the first little five minutes it wasn't recording. Okay. Just popped up. But I was just talking about Juneteenth a little bit. Just oh, yeah. talked about it just yeah. briefly. Even though it's on Wednesday, right. they are basically celebrating it today, I should say, in our city. And I do believe around the world. Is that they what they're doing out there? No, that's the drum fest. They over there got the uh the drum fest over there. No, I'm just talking about Douglas. They had their own little stuff today. Oh, okay. Douglas did. Man, yeah, so uh, Chicago, they had one too at the Black Mall. I was gonna attend, but I didn't. I stayed here. Um, but I know I told myself next year, and then from remote, we could. Is somebody trying to call me? I think somebody trying to call my phone. It's on a do not disturb type of thing. I hope chemo understands. Go ahead and come inside. I, I think he's right there. You see him. So, we waiting on Kiki. He said he'll be late too. Yeah, Kiki gonna be Come on, boo. You gonna get it. Kiki you gonna get it too. Kiki you coming. getting it too. Dang, I was only what? Uh, man, you strict. 
Yeah. Well, go ahead and keep on talking. I think this is him. We're gonna, we gonna, there you go. I'm recording. That's what's up. Man, they in there jamming up in there too. Keep on. All right, brother. Yes, yes, yes. So, Juneteenth, it was uh, uh, a good day, you know what I'm saying, to remember and actually uh, be proud, you know. I believe that a lot of brown people don't celebrate this particular day because they don't know about the day. I really think people need to start being a little bit more mindful on what they need to research and what they need to actually read up on the history you know, of Americans. You know what's, what's special about this Juneteenth? What? It's the 400 year of being <laughs> of the end of it. So that's like prophetic. That's big. We know it is. This if is you summer. read what's going on. No man, something about the huh? It's, it's big. About it's, the like yeah. the preacher say, something about the shift. About the shape, <laughs> just, just Sam, what's Sam something at? Something about the shift. Sam Smith, where you something at, man? Something in life is about the shift. Man, Sam Smith gonna set up something, man. We gotta, we gotta celebrate uh, this. This is the four hundred years, so this is. I'm more be spiritual real than anything, so yeah. I mean, I believe it. Mm -hmm. You know, with certain things, I see it in in the universe. Okay. The universe does its own regulations of what we do right. and how we do it, and there's laws. Right. So with those laws, a lot of things just come back on a cycle. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And that's a law. Okay, well, you know, we at it then. There's something big about the jump, but uh, I was talking about that earlier today. But uh, I'm gonna turn this over too. We got our, our we got our guests oh, in. Come on, we got man. our guests in. I'm gonna introduce him, man. He's also he's also a cool, brother, man. He went through uh, he went through the program with us, man. He 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 was a uh, he was inspirational. He was inspirational while he was going through the program, man. He's a hardworking young man. Uh, he always got something, some laid you back plan or something. Oh, yeah. But uh, Kimo, step up to the mic, brother. Three times. What was going on? Hey, how's it going? Man? How you doing? That's what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> the big one. Oh no, man! Ah. Dang! Uh -huh. Come on! What happened, man? Well, sometimes I get it, man. It just someday. Hey, it just trust me. I. I you should be understanding about this brother, <laughs> but I just came in late too. You should be understanding about this, man, but it's all good. But go ahead, man, tell us something about yourself, man. What's happening? What, what you got? What's, who is this, who is this, who is these young men with you, man? What you got? Uh, this is my boy, uh, Draco Bang, you know what I'm saying? We uh, got like a um, little EP that's going to drop probably like by the end of the summer. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, this is my little homie, Lil Dez. Lil Dez, he rap? No, he don't rap. I can't hear you. You got, you got, you got uh, okay, talking to Mike. The yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, tell him who Wally is again, bro. Yeah, yeah tell him who he is again. Hey, come on, man. This is my boy Draco Bang, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Draco, what up, Draco? Draco got skills, right? Yeah, he definitely got them. All right, yeah, all right. Y'all should be in tune. You know what I'm saying? I think you got some stuff on YouTube already. Uh -huh. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah, like that. That's what's um, up. Okay. All right, man. Okay. Champagne got some, uh, uh, what is the young man? Very talented uh, young guys out here. So yeah, y'all y'all gotta be on y'all gotta be on uh, the listen up on these guys, man. But go ahead, keep on going, man. Come on, Kimo. Don't don't don't, 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 don't try to do that, man. What? How you get started? What got you started? Uh, rapping, man. Where are you trying to go with this? What are you thinking about, you know, as far as the future? Who's, I want to know, man, I'm going to give you a list of things. Who who impress you? Who you don't like that much? You know, um, as far as musically, like what you just, what is that yeah. going on in life? Yeah, all that, man. But right now with the music, then we can go into the life, go into more of his background. Well, right. let me get in your background first, man. Go ahead. Give me some of your background. Uh, I'm, from, I'm from Champaign. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I grew up here. Yeah. Uh, I done moved, probably, you know what I'm saying, place like out of state, stuff like that, but I always, you know what I'm saying, found myself back here. But we was at when you left state. Yeah, uh, tell us something about that, man. Where you at? I was, I live in Cali, I live in Atlanta, I live in Nashville. Okay. That's about it. I like St. Louis, too. You like Cali? Which one you like better? 
mad now. That's still over a lot of accounting? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. living mad still, I ain't gonna lie. Why? I'm wondering. I don't know, it's a lot of, uh, like, a lot of little, uh, what's it, HB, what is it, like, HBCU? Yeah, HBCU. There's a lot of black colleges out there. Mm-hmm. And then, so when I was out there, it was like a good experience. Because it was like, um, I seen a lot of little, just a, a lot of young black people doing some of their stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it yeah. Like try to do more, you know what I'm saying? To keep up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. I, I lived in a lot of them areas, so I know what you're saying. I, I agree with you when you say that. I think Atlanta, man, they got a lot of cats showboating out there, though. Yeah. They overdo it, man. A lot of them showboating and overdoing yeah. it, man. I see young cats overspending and mm, it wasn't cool. Trying to keep up. Yeah, yeah everybody, the next one trying to outdo the next one, man. And they, you know they broke half of them, but mm. I ain't gonna say that. I leave it alone, man. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. Man. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. But, uh, so what about living in those areas? What brought you to, I don't know, what, like you say, you keep coming back here. This is where your family at, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like, what really bringing me back? I don't know. Like, it's, it's just something about home, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what Heather was talking about. It's that, it's that energy. It's something here that you got to complete to make this circle. That's what I believe. Heather, Heather talk on it. Um, it's cycles. It cycles to life. And some people ask me, I had somebody ask me today, like, wow, how did you get here? You know, who are you? You know, so for people to look at me and be like, dang, you only 35 and you already at a level that most 35 year olds aren't at, it's I've mastered some things. You know what I'm saying? Already. And I've mastered more than enough to where I'm able to like, figure out like this is a cycle all of the stuff we're going through right now is a cycle it ain't nothing but a big old circle you know where so, it recycles itself but if you messed up somewhere you go in back. life it's like go back start you gotta over. go back and start over yeah. so if god or the universe told you to complete a task you didn't do it right the first time you're gonna repeat it five ten different times once you get to that 11th time you like Dang, what is wrong? What, what am yeah. I doing? You're more aware of what's going on. Now you know, okay, I'm finna go back through this cycle. I gotta not do this a certain time, and then I might be able to pass the test, or I might be able to move on to the next level. And you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I'm gonna add this. Sometimes it works like an engine. Like this this place here re-energize you so you can mm. make the next move. Then he swing out further and further. You know, that happened too. Mm. Cause he, this brother making some moves, man. I know, you know, me and him, we talked when we was in the other stuff in the classes and we know, mm-hmm. I know where he going. Mm-hmm. I know where his head is at. Man, he a real dude, you know, mm-hmm. he, a, he, a, he a real guy. And me and him, he know where I'm from. So um, me and him connected like that, we connected. Mm-hmm. He just a real dude, man. So you came back. What are you here to do, though? Um, what you here to do? Complete probation at this point. Okay. Okay. And then. Okay, this is a cycle. <laughs> okay. And what um, else? Yeah. So really, um, get this music going. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, I really feel like I should have just stayed where I was. Uh-huh. But I feel like since I'm stuck here, I might as well make the best of it. And then that's just like a passion that I always had for my entire life. So. That's probably what I'm known for best and okay and champagne anyway, so I might as well keep doing it. So why you say hold on? Why you say you stuck here? Out I'm on probation, because I'm on probation. So and what did I do with it? Don't he tell he tell you, you don't use that anyway. word stuck. Well, I ain't gonna You're say not stuck. stuck. I'm just right, right. temporarily yeah. here until I have my schedule go. release there in twenty twenty one. For sure, for sure. Um, so what you doing for your schedule release for twenty twenty one? what plan what plan preparation are you making? I'm uh, done with you because you came in late and you're not on the thing. You. Can't nobody hear you. He can hear me though. He can hear the question. Well, hey, wait. Let's do it like this. Come he on over, bro. Yeah, don't get on. Come on. You get on. I my speed nerve. up. Come on. You gotta, you gotta see that's that, that's that that's that family love, man. I was freaking out because I was calling Kiki and he answered. So you know, if he don't yeah. answer for me, something wrong. 
So what what plans, preparation you making for your 2021 release? Um, really just trying to um, really just stack my bread up, keep stay out of trouble, and you know what I'm saying, try and make it to 2021 for one. And you know, once I do, then I'm going back probably down south. But I'm trying to until then. Shit, I'm just make, working on my music. Oh, that's what's up. Man. What? All right, so nine days is more than just music. Facts. So what else are you doing though? Because now we got okay. Back in the day when I was growing up, '80s baby, it was just rap, mm -hmm. dope dealer, you know, pimp, all of these things. But now it's a different. It's on a different level. Right. So when you in the music industry, you got different avenues to tap into. What else are you doing besides just music? Because we have a lot of different people doing five, six, seven different things. What else are you doing well, besides the music? Because you got to have a little bit more. Right. You said like in life? Oh, you yeah. saying like yeah. other things? Okay, hustle. Like, okay. Come on up, Drake. Hustle. Slide up. I'm talking about hustle. I, 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 I know you was going. Slide up, I'm talking about hustle. Slide up on it, man. Drake, you might as well get on in there in the middle. No, I'm just, I'm just going with it. I'm going with it. All right, come on in. You're going to get you on now. No, I'm going to get on. You can't, you already on. You can't. You already on. Yeah, you on, Drake. Come on. You too. Yeah, you can't. You trying to blend in. You know it's straight. You say hustle, we definitely in the streets. No, but I'm saying, what other stuff? You know what I'm saying? I just went down, uh, um, well, I want to say, like, probably, like, last week, two weeks ago, I had talked to Marlon and then my Uncle Vince about mm -hmm. uh, getting into a little school program. Mm -hmm. So, probably doing something like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know, like, I don't really, I don't know, I, I really, I'm banking on this music, I ain't gonna lie to you, because I got, I got so many avenues and I can engineer, I, I record myself, I do my own beats. I rap, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it ain't just really, I'm rapping, I don't gotta rap. I can make beats for it, I can go straight, I can Thank do you. a whole lot of other different things. Thank you. Like, so, and then my talents can go further than just like regular rapping. I can really go to like, probably go be in orchestras and, and like do basketball games, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, mm -hmm. the audio engineering and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it comes from. I can do this right here, you feel me? I can do what you're doing right here. She wanna like work with the board, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So it's more than just the rap and stuff. It, it's just music or sound in any way. That that's that's what I wanted to hear. That's all. That's all right. what I wanted to hear because you got. Let me take for instance, Jay Z just read it. He's a, he's a billionaire now. Okay, he didn't just stick with music. You get what I'm saying? He's a sports agent. You feel me? He also doing like liquor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He owning different things to the point now we're talking about businessman. We're not just talking about being a music, you know what I'm saying, person to sell your music and selling your beat. Like, are you doing more? That's what I was saying, like with the hustling part. You know, are you thinking about having your own t shirt with your whoever oh, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Too. Uh, and then my boy, we got a thing called for uh like my homie that died. Like a Stony Island uh, clothing line, whatever. So we got that up and going too. And then I'm probably gonna make my little own brand drop of that. That's gonna come real soon. It's hot in here. Thank you. They're really buying up too, ain't they, bro? Yeah, they're really buying. They're really buying that show. You gonna talk? Mm. You gonna talk on the mic? Yeah. yeah. Tell us more about them shirts, man. What, what's the shirt? What they call again? Uh, Stony Island. Stony Island, like yeah. in Chicago, Stony Island. Yeah. 85th, 87th, what? No, nah, none of that. It's uh, my boy's name was Stoney, and then, like, you know, because we just ain't want to be on, I don't know, but it just go hand in hand. Okay, got it. I like that, man. Like, instead of being, like, a Stoney gang or right. something like that. No, I like that. I like that. Reverse them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. We got, we got rappers and people, like, famous people wearing the shirts and stuff like that. They definitely shop, like, my mm -hmm. boy Bill. You can find him on Facebook, I believe, on the, like, Bill Dixon. Okay, but well, you got the Stony Island thing going. Hey, you really hit them up for more information oh, and stuff man. like that. All right, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta some plug some of that too. Uh, uh, sound like, sound like a job for uh, HJ, man. Me and Kiki ain't gonna model, we don't do good modeling, man. Oh my god, <laughs> nah, y'all don't even want to take the pictures. Sure, don't, man. Nah, it's cool. Well, y'all in here, so y'all gonna talk. 
I'm not with you. We don't talk. We just we no, have support, support, you know. Yeah, like, this is my little brother, you know what I'm saying? We good friends with you, We just come to support. Draco, man, you keep his head on. Uh, you yeah, seem like a positive guy. That's what I'm saying. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, we real positive guys towards each other, you know. That's we talk our stuff to each other, but you know, we all right. That's what you need, man. I think everybody should have that homie, man, that, that you can bounce positive ideas on, you know, to keep things growing. And and if you're in stagnation mode, stagnation mode, that, that he would kind of point that out, like, hey, man, let's try this. Or well, somebody, you seem like that type of brother, man. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Um, brown men battle a lot of different um, wars on a daily basis. You're young and you're up against the world almost. Even right. the brown I always females. say me up versus the world. I mean, it's, it's, it's like that. What do you think on a daily that you have to actually like think about when you leave the house? What do you think about? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? What are you up against? Uh, I'm up against a lot. Like, I don't, you know, this like holy mm -hmm. uh, hate, you know what I'm saying? Hatred in the streets or mm -hmm. just like people that think they can get you, like just lean in, you gotta like just all out rob you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. like just keep they can get up on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta watch for people with bad intentions that's around with with the clown face on, you know what I'm saying? With your buddy hey, buddy. Yeah. But just around for you know, you know what I'm saying? Just no reason for real. For sure. For sure. You know, it's a lot of different things in it, like you just don't know it's a lot of stuff going on. So you definitely gotta be careful on where you go and how you move. And where you be at because it's going it's going down <laughs> so is that all of that stuff that you have to deal with can be overwhelming you know what i'm saying but mm -hmm. do you be like yep. anxious do you like deal with depression i'm sorry we have to talk about these emotions because this is normal right and it's human but mm -hmm. A man can go through so much mm -hmm. and then he wanna break and bust and shoot. Now I don't know why. It's on a do not disturb though. Hey, That's popular, crazy. Man. You popular. No, they better stop it. So, oh, so when I caught it, it was on yes. my phone. Yes. <laughs> so eventually I'm gonna get another phone. Like seriously. I'm gonna have uh -huh. to get another phone or another like device to record. Because okay. it ain't gonna work. Cause my phone gonna get worse. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recruit all these brothers into the movement right here. I want y'all to get with this too, man. No, we didn't never finish. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. About the feelings and emotions you gotta go through. Yeah. Like, do you deal with them or do you not? Sorry. Uh, I feel like I do. Mm -hmm. I was at the gym. Oh yeah, you just you know release probably like some stress and stuff like you that. You ain't, y'all ain't going to no gym. We was at the gym. We when? Gym all week. Oh, no. Y'all ain't going to no... I ain't see y'all at no gym. I ain't out of shape. We're going live next time we go to the gym. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. I went live the other last night. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Which gym you go to now? Um, what is that? Country Fair? <laughs> brother, brother, the stay out there. He got a spot there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. Local gym inside. I was going to uh, uh, Charter Fitness, like, right over here. Mm -hmm. right, right behind her. Yeah. Y'all hitting them weights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I ain't no way. Man, they ain't so, 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 pounds. So, 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 how do you, how do you, how do you exercise your mind mentally? Mm. Mm. Um, Kiki taking a bit, man. Hey, hey, you better talk in the mic. You can mentally. do it. Yes, mentally. I probably, I don't know. To me, I think, I think a lot. You know what I'm saying? I be within myself a lot. And then, if anything, I don't know. I be watching probably like a lot of YouTube stuff and then like it depends on what type of mood I'm in. So like if I'm in a I don't know, but I do watch a lot of informational videos and stuff like that. Like what you mean in informational, informational though? Probably like I don't know if it's whatever I'm trying to figure out for the day or for the whatever for the moment. Like mm. even if it's about like with some spiritual stuff, I look at um, some stuff like mm -hmm, probably with mm -hmm. like KRS one or something like that. Oh, okay, stuff I got like you. That. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like fifth dimension stuff, like just digging deep okay, into myself. Okay, you, you trying know? to get yeah. there? All right, you trying to go to that level? All right. Kiki Tell about up. the third Kiki eye. Up. Kiki open up mm -hmm. that door on that one, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good though. For real, some people you just be talking to them and you like, what? 
where are you at? You know, in life, like. I'm on a different level. I'm sorry, I keep saying levels and stuff because it is levels to a lot of things. But um, it's levels in life. It's a, I deal with energy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I deal with energy, and right now I feel the energy, and the energy is high in yeah, here. Yeah. You know, so I I like energy. Yeah, there you go. I love it, and that's that aura. If you got a good aura, I can I can see, you know, and I can feel it. But if you got a bad one, mm -mm, I don't deal with it. That's deep. As, let's, kind of, let's talk more about that survival mode, man. Like, like you've been in the street. You understand what it is to get shot. Me and you talked about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, want, if you feel comfortable talking about that. No, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. He don't want to talk about that. Y'all leave that alone. Yeah, for sure. You bought it. <laughs> I leave it alone. I told you leave yeah, it alone, sure. Kiki. No, nah, man, but, you know, we, we as, as black men, we understand the stress and the pressure. I say that. How's that? Okay. That'll work. Yeah. Nah, with the feelings I do, you know, sometimes probably go through like every day, or not every day, but like for some days, like PTSD, um, probably like some depression a little bit, mm -hmm. anxiety, mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Probably like some hope. Okay, okay. And you usually you're you're like, you know, you're not like that most likely listen to some like KRS one no. or what do you do on that day then? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no. I probably don't listen to nothing. Ooh, that's even better. Like, cause I know music can alter people's moods, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But so like really when I be thinking, I be really thinking, I don't turn on the music, I'm riding around listening to nothing. That's called mindfulness, you guys. <laughs> I'm serious. Right that's there. mindfulness. Look, yeah. what? It's mindfulness. Right. It's just something that, you know, is called meditation, but at the same time, we all do it. Mm -hmm. We all do it. We just don't mm -hmm. know we doing it. Right. You know? I would say we get in the car, he don't even realize, I know we just rode away for probably like two hours with no music playing. Nothing. And why? You know what I'm saying? Why do you need the music, though, in order to, like, no, you don't. You consume too much garbage or too much noise, too much anything. Right. It's an overload. So it's almost like you getting rid of that whatever you consume. Mm -hmm. And you need to, you know, just like flush it out or detox. So most of my kids, when I'm driving and riding around, they like, I need some music. I'm like, no, nah, man, press the button. And we just need some silence right now because whatever is going through my head needs to just filter and just be and roam free. You know, because mm -hmm. I might need to look, uh, listen to something in my head and just pinpoint that and sit on it for like five minutes. Mm, that's deep. Okay, I get it. You know, yeah, that's deep. I oh, I gotta pay these bills. Oh, my kids <clears throat> gotta go here. Oh, man, mm -hmm. I was stuck right there for a while. Why? Right. You that's know, deep. get through that and then it's gone. I done already dealt with it. You know? I don't worry. That's deep, man. I like that. I don't have to think about it again. So mindfulness is something that we need to do and practice on a on a daily. I just go ahead and I put music with mines and mines is the soothing music. They call it white noise. And that's at a what what's the hertz on the white noise? Is it four hundred and eighty five? Was it five thirty two? Five thirty two. They got a couple that's of pretty, different that's ones. Like yeah. So it's at a length. Or certain amount, whatever level it is, but I'm able to like be there, mm -hmm. you know. You getting into some of that Doctor Leonard Hoard stuff, man? When he be healing the DNA with 532 hertz. It ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no joke. But I, I like that. I like that. I like that unknowingly you already doing it. Man, where I want to see some of this creativeness, man. I don't oh, know. she he trying to get you to rap. No, no, he ain't got to rap right now. I don't want to bust it out, but I just I just want him to get into what how do he get into his creative mode? Um what inspired you to get there? Myself. Like or just like mm -hmm. if I would cuz I don't listen to other people like that either. Like see that I'm listening to my uh, it's myself or probably some old Oh, some of my old stuff, probably some old like cheesy, old like some old music where it was really rapping, you know what I'm saying? But okay, to my style, you know what I'm saying? Where I like it at. And then and I probably like, okay, oh man, this made me wanna rap, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> or I don't know. But like other than that, like I always like since I was a shorty, I always like been in a band, 
Right. Uh, just always messing with the music, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And just always doing my passion, my thing. I used to record. I'm an artist, man. Headphones. I gotta do like you, man. I gotta, but I gotta get in the zone. I gotta get me a drink or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Nah, you ain't. I'm leave it alone. No, you ain't. I'm gonna leave that alone. I mean, that can enhance my want to do it, but like, I ain't gonna lie, I could probably want to rap sober and then get sober and don't want to rap no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to tap that right brain, man, because I, I do a lot of running around, so I'm always doing some left brain stuff. So to tap that right brain, I need a trigger. That's all I yeah, can say. I mean, I it, do, it do help with the creation sometimes. Like, I think my best work probably like when I'm sober in the morning, early, like as soon as I wake up, that's like my best work. Creativity, like for the beats, the, okay. the music, the writing, all that. It's just the sound. You feel okay. me? Now, when I get when I when I get a DB ready, I think I can sing real good. Then I go back and listen to it. I'll be like, man, that's awful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't. I'm just it. messing with you. I'm not. I look right at you. Yeah, oh, right. Just stop you just it. Fell out. I, I, I'm oh just my messing. Gosh. So, why don't you turn it on? Turn the fan on. I'm just messing. So, um, it's six thirty-seven, you guys. Well, this is Conscious Community Connections, where we keep the community I'm on the side connected. Of my chair, so okay. Tag right there too. This is WRFU 104.5 FM. RFU, WRFU is an open forum for Urbana Champagne in our online community. Views expressed are those of the speakers and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Urbana Socialist Forum. Keep tagging. Go ahead, keep going, Heather. Keep going. Keep tagging. Oh, okay. Keep tagging yourself on that. So. <sighs> Now we you, have a guest in the building. We got a few guests, but you know, we got one guest that is really um, speaking today. We do have Kiki in the building and Tiger in the building. We have Chemo, yeah. and we got his Draco. supporters, Draco and yeah. and Dez. Yeah. All right, all right. And so we are just well, talking. You gotta, you gotta tell them my name two or three times. They might think I'm a bop. The bopper. Yeah, the bopper. dancer. Dude. Oh, dang. This yeah. is actual chemo. Mm -hmm. No, nah, it's, right? it's chemo three times the big one. Like, oh, not look sorry. Chemo. Dang. Yeah. Okay, big chemo. That's a <laughs> three times. No, I had, three I, I times. Mean, I had the name first, but he, he had, I don't know. I he started bopping and got on. Yeah, and got on there. Oh, dang. He had my name, but that yeah. was my name for real. Said, oh, dang. And that's yeah. your name for real? No, that ain't my name for real. Oh, I just know you had That's my name for real. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, he was the first. <laughs> this the original. I can't stand you, Kimo. I don't even know why you trying to act like that. Don't get it. No, oh, no, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no. Dang. Okay, yeah. so we were talking about energy. We didn't talk about he was going on creativeness. He we didn't talk mm -hmm. about who you are. We didn't talk about a little bit of the hustle part. You know. What What else we getting into? Where you see this music thing going? Where you wanted to get to, man? Like, I guess your what's vision? Stats? Yeah, what's your vision for it? Um, I feel like I just gotta. I don't know. I feel like I gotta chase some barriers with this little probation stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, really, I feel like because a lot of people tell me like, man, you should have been on. You, you, you could, you could, you could do this. You could do that. You gonna make it. All this stuff. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I be what's so. I don't know, in tune myself, I'm probably like a professional, so I don't even put music out like that. Like I should, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I feel like if I, when I start doing it, cause I'm, I'm gonna start doing it. It's just gonna, I, don't, I ain't trying to be the biggest superstar, you know what I'm saying, no pop star, nothing like that. I'm just trying to make enough where I can just live comfortably off my craft. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Why, why are you trying to be a perfectionist though? I don't why know. are you trying to make it perfect? I'm not, I don't know because I don't know, I'll be into like, probably like, it's a conscious thing, like before I put it out, like I wanna mm. make sure, and since I'm the only one that's sitting here recording it, recording myself, making a beat and doing everything by myself, mm. I don't have another set of ears unless it's the homie, but I'm like, y'all just gonna say that cause y'all mess with me, you know what I'm saying? So before then, I'll probably let me go back to things I hear, let me critique this, I, I probably can say this better, probably can do this. Yeah. Okay, let me go back to the beat. It's like, I got too much I can do, so I got too much I can modify, you know what I'm saying? Like if I could just get a beat off YouTube and then rap to it, it'll be different. But since I'm making the beat, 
I'm trying to make sure that the sound, the levels is correct. Mm -hmm. Every, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're an artist, yeah. and so with being an mm -hmm. artist, I mean sometimes they I tell get, you. I, I sometimes I get too creative. Mm. Like I be too trying to do too much to it. Like, no, nah, it ain't ready because I, I still gotta do this part to it. But really, it's done. Mm. Okay. So what you gonna do now? Since you I'm already just, saying that, I'm just ready. I'm like, I, I be knowing out? my problem. I just need to, yeah, just put it out. Like, I've been. Mm -hmm. We gonna stuff. put it out. I got some stuff on YouTube right now. I'm gonna shoot a video for uh, one of the songs on there. I could look up uh, Chemo Three Times Enough on uh, YouTube. It's gonna be a, a song. I mean, a video behind that. So, so yeah. is that chemo three times or chemo, chemo, chemo? Like chemo three X. Chemo three X. Okay. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Just clearing it up so they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. I like that, man. Chemo three X. That's deep. Yeah. I don't know. Kiki got something thinking on, man. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, he, he, he thinking, he about thinking man. I see it. Yeah. Got he, them hard questions. Where, I don't know. I'm gonna hit you with one though. So you say. Mm -hmm. I gotta hit you with this one because I don't know how you said that. Yeah, uh oh. Here you so come. you said mm -hmm. your homies don't tell you the truth. No, no, I'm not saying like that with this. I'm glad you're not. No, I'm not saying, but let me finish. So you, say, so you said, so you saying your homies don't tell you the truth, so they just your yes man. I like that one. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like sometimes I be like, man, shit, everybody don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got a homie that. I know for real that don't like my music. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like you say, your friends don't tell you the That's truth. That's one. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, mm. I'm not saying it, but I still okay. feel like uh, outside of him, I'd be like, damn, man, y'all don't really because you put off one person. I'm going off one now person to say I'm but, I, but I'm, I'm not saying now. I'm just feel like I don't know. No, bro. I ain't saying y'all lying because I still think it's hot regardless. You feel me? So. I know what it is. You keep it 200 with me. I know what it is. You worried about everybody else's opinion. That's what it is. I know. Why you worried about their opinion? Mm, Forget their opinion. That's that's something a lot of people do though. No, nah, you can't do that. I can't agree with you on that one. In a way, I, 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 I can't. Agree with I can't agree with because, because if you ain't everybody's your fan, uh, man. everybody sees stuff different. You can learn if it's a negative opinion or a positive opinion. You can learn something from anybody's opinion. So, Thanks. see, people say don't worry about other people's opinion, but you got to because it's life. Because they might, yeah, you got, because people see something different, and you might be overlooking that I don't do well on it. It's like, if I tell you, like, man, that's garbage, I'm like, and I tell you why it's garbage. Right. Now, if I, but if I just say it's garbage, no, don't worry about that. I ain't gave you no facts. Now, it's right. like, I'm just telling you something. Right. See what I'm saying? But if I tell you, like, man, keep on this garbage because you didn't drop the bass right here, then you stop. Right, that's, you that, you that's ain't got my, no bars on this song. That's my homie saying? Ricky Adu. You like, man, uh. You see what I'm saying now? Like Opinions do count. You ain't, you ain't delivered. Ooh, mm -hmm. ooh, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, well, Ain't that missing? I mean, he got different the, waves, too. See, so dude, he talking about only like one type of wave. Yeah, so you know what I mean? Now, that makes sense. Like, what's, your, what's the style that dude like? Because this guy. Dude, he like, listen to drill music. No, dude, he listen to, like, Detroit music. A little weirdo music. He do from Detroit, you know? But at the same time, yeah. he's only one person. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Compared yeah. to all of the other, once you hit YouTube, Instagram, we talking about worldwide. But that's we talking why I'm about to think, like that's why I know. That's why I think past myself. It ain't just for my like. I'm trying to make it for where I can at least get. But it'd be crazy. Like you could just do it for yourself and like another fifty thousand to fall through because they feel the same type of way. But I be trying to catch the whole hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you know nope. what I'm saying? Ain't no reason. I'm trying to catch to. everybody. Nope, ain't no reason to. Cause if I if I was doing that, I wouldn't be on here right now. That's you true. know what I'm saying? And sometimes I record, I mess up on every single word. I say something crazy, my face be all messed up. I don't care. It, I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter how how it is delivered. At least I did it. And then once I did it, I went back and was like, okay. I don't even look at it no more. I don't even dwell on it. I'm worried about the next one. You know? And I'm gonna keep going and keep doing it and keep producing because the more you fail, the more you're able to like actually learn from those experiences. You know? That's deep, man. Mm -hmm. That's real talk right there. Mm. Keep going, keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real, like don't even stop. Just go ahead and produce all of that stuff because nowadays it's getting tough with the music industry. Cause I've been listening to a lot of different people to where certain people are able to drop so many songs 
and certain people are able to actually make it happen. But if you do like 30 songs a day, what the heck does that mean? You know? If that year thing going on. But if you doing 30 songs a day though, no, you did 30 songs. A lot of people ain't doing 30 songs. She they they not doing it. Fight, don't fuck about making that shit. Yeah. Right. Oh, you yeah, do 30 yeah, songs yeah, in 30 that. days? <laughs> ain't nobody doing that. that. I just did that. Ain't nobody doing it though. You get what I'm saying? In How December. compared to they used to, they used to sit on an album. You know? Mm. For a whole year, then they yeah. finally push it out. But that's what's crazy. I just did something like that in like December, and I ain't put none of the like I only put three of the songs out. For what though? In, in February. And Michael Jackson sitting on millions of songs. <laughs> Prince sitting on millions of songs. You get what I'm saying? Those songs could be hits, but they didn't sit on them. Now they did. Mm, they don't. Yeah. They don't what the heck? Them. It, they took it with them. Yeah. They need to stop being stingy, then, huh? You too. <laughs> you too. Yeah, but no, do it. Just do it, man. Do it and just get it done, man. You got this. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you on the show though, cause um we ain't had no go mad we had no go mad um uh, students on here, right? So yeah. tell us tell us your experience from Go Mad. Uh it was a good experience. Um uh, like uh, we was in the, at first we were like in the classroom, so it challenged me a little bit to like really go back into the mathematics and stuff like that, and really get back into the school setting. And then it was real cool when we went out to uh, the house, like building, like demolition of the house, and then building it back up and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. And then uh, like the little trips was going on in the summertime, like for like the little things in Chicago and stuff. It was, it was a good experience. Did you help me build my house too? Yeah, I helped you build the house. Sure. It's your world out there. Yeah, they yeah, were. Yeah. They did a whole Saturday. Yeah. Even with the Go Mad program, I'm sorry, we got to talk about it. How did you feel about losing a peer? Uh, I don't know. I like, it was crazy because I was like, I just seen him at class probably like two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. And then. I mean, even though you don't, you probably didn't deal with him like that. Right. You know, but what does that type of mentality, where does that put you? Death is standing right next to you. Mm -hmm. It's that close. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hey, man, we had them talks about that. Real talks, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. We yeah, broke yeah, a lot yeah. of that down when we was up in there, man. It's real, you know? Yeah, that's crazy, though. So, but, um, yeah, it just felt like, man, like, like I said, you gotta watch how you move, watch what you do, watch what's going on. You, you, yeah. you gotta watch what's going on. Like you gotta be aware to what's going on or whatever you're doing. Cause like I said, you could be around people with people with ill intentions and not know it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned something earlier about trauma and PT, PSD, whatever that stuff. Yeah. PTSD. Yeah, you meant to something about that. So how do you deal with your trauma? And you also said you wake up motivated. That's a good thing. So Sometimes you, I, I don't. You know, what I'm saying? you know, you got your little days. I be depressed. Yeah, everybody got days like that. But how do you deal with that that trauma? And do you? How, how did it come to you to recognize you got a trauma? Um, uh, I don't know. It's just waking up thinking different instead of just going. I'm thinking before I go. Like mm -hmm. where I'm finna go, what I'm finna do. Mm -hmm. If I ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna, I don't know, I, I plan more. Okay. I try, okay. I even though everything don't go as planned, but I try and set things in place so this is what I'm finna do. So I ain't just out of, out of place everywhere. For and sure. And I deal with it probably by like really the music. Like going in with the music or just probably talking with my people and stuff like that, my mm -hmm. homies. Probably, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a little smoke or drink or something like that, but ain't, it's probably just coping it for the moment. But mm -hmm. it'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna like take me to the point where I wanna take myself out of nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just be cool. I be trying mm -hmm. not to, not to be in places that make me nervous or. You know what I'm saying? Uncomfortable. Okay, shoulder. Uncomfortable yeah, position. Man. You can feel the energy. Yeah, yeah I, I feel all type of energy. So, nah, this ain't right. Yeah, like, this, nah, this ain't mm -hmm. my spot. 
-hmm. or before I even know where I'm cool. I was in one of those spots yesterday. I said, "Yeah, <laughs> it's about to go down, man." I had put about yesterday, man. Can't even talk about it, man. man, man I'm just spots. keeping it real. <laughs> all in them it was spots. definitely it's one of them moments. Look at Tiger. Anyway, hey, I was I was I was gonna slide back. All I so, say, so man. What, what would, like, hey, so what would you tell somebody? Mm. Like you, you, you young, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell, so you, tell you, them. You, you, I was you in the death. Like I don't know how deep you in the was in the streets or whatever. Mm -hmm. I met you through Go Mad, so I know you by you making the step to go there. You wanted to change. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell somebody your age or younger or old, even older? Because there's a lot of old fools out there too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's you know, chess. You know what I mean? So what would you that's, what would you tell somebody? Like what kind of advice would you use yourself? Use yourself as somebody advice to deal with trauma or even recognize that they got trauma. Uh, I mean trauma. That's probably like what you mean by trauma? Cause I'm pretty sure they know they got trauma. They go to the trauma unit. Nah, well, nah, no, 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 no. Trauma, 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 trauma is like this, man. A lot of people don't know they got trauma. Mm -hmm. If you can, if you can run those streets every day, and sell drugs, or whatever you do, game bang and this and that, mm -hmm. and think you don't have a fat or like you said, you you realize you go to certain places, you don't feel right, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's 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 yeah. part. Of, that's a traumatizing moment because you experienced something being that being that familiar situation before. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you like, damn. So that's what trauma is. Trauma ain't it just because you get shot or it can get be the effect after you got shot. Yeah, it can be after you got yeah. shot or, or affect your life. You can, you can, you can see you can see your mama get beat up by your daddy or right. your daddy get killed. Yeah, be traumatized. One of your partners get killed mm. or, or just somebody wake up in jail. Yeah, in jail or just wake up wake up in, in poverty ain't got nothing. Like, man, I'm tired of being broke. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, trauma, trauma all in all different disguises. Not just because it, it hurt, it could be. And the most trauma that we suffer in the hood is mental trauma. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't, know, don't even understand mental trauma. Some baby traumatized off those yellow. Yeah, men, mental trauma is one of the most mm -hmm. dangerous traumas out there. Daddy not there. Yeah, all type of stuff. Mama gone all day. Girl, girl pressing you. You know, you got your little girlfriend. You think you love her or something. Or your partner's, your partner's like going one way, you trying to go another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All different avenues yeah, I, of life. Well, I, I, like, I was just telling my homie um, before he got locked up, like, man, it, it's really chess out here. Like, you can't let nobody trick you. Like, don't even trick yourself off the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if it's getting too hard, like, really try and do your best to walk away or try and do something else. You know what I'm saying? Or even not, if you know this is what this type of girl bring or what these type of people bring and this mm -hmm. is what you're not trying to get caught up in, don't go over there. Knowing this is a Chance you gonna be tricking yourself, you know what I'm saying? They ain't tricking, you know what I'm saying? You tricking yourself mm -hmm. you know, because you know the consequences already. Yeah. So I just be trying to tell them, man, be your own person, man. You ain't gotta do no follow, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta turn up for every every action. You know what I'm saying? Every action don't need to reaction. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Or it, yeah, it don't I need like to be that. at that time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Stuff that. like that. But Good answer, good answer. Be your own mm -hmm. self, and what do you say? Every action keep it, don't call. Keep it, keep it straight yeah. for it, you know what I'm saying? Keep it real with them. But you know what I found out? A lot of cats, only they got a toolbox. Only thing they got in their toolbox is a hammer. You know? Mm -hmm. And they deal with everything the same way. They mm -hmm. think, this is it. Man, I'm coming at it. You ain't got, you don't need a hammer for everything. But look, tool, right? like, yeah, but I was just, that's just like my homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. That's how he moved, you know what I'm saying? He but two tools in his toolbox. He know, he know, like, when you get in the car with me, you ain't getting no car with none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't riding like that, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, like, we ain't looking for nobody, anybody looking for us, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? If somebody looking for you, you need to go and get up out the car, you know what I'm saying? Right. This ain't that, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, like, I, like I tell him, man, bro, you don't need to be doing all that, bro. You, like, that is to me that draws heat. Like it just draws Ooh. trouble. Like it's a magnet Ooh. to it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's why I really try my best to stay away from it. Cause you don't need it unless you really need it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, he like, man, so if you know it's there, you see somebody in, in the wall, I say, so you gonna shoot somebody in Walmart? He, yeah. Um you stupid. You trick yourself out the street. You you know he's not gonna mm -hmm. shoot you in Walmart. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but mm -hmm. like I said, it like it's people just probably went to jail like not too long ago. 
like I like see like it was bad, older, older. But he treat like it's chess. Like even it though it, you, you you gotta play this, it's a life game. You know what I'm saying? It's for the rest of your life. You can't get old and think, oh, I can do this and they gonna I'm gonna get old. It's the same as when you was a shorty. They just, it's the same consequences. Yeah, you're right. You're right because if you, it's all about putting yourself in that situation. Like you know. He prepared to go to Walmart and start the trouble. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you when you focus your mind, or you already in some trouble, and you just can't get out of it. Because mm -hmm. I I kind of I kind of could feel him when he said that I was in a similar situation. You know what I mean? Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Long say, time ago. Well, say that. You answer that. No, I answer that. I'm you do. Well, I'm about almost 20 years ago. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, about 20 years ago, 2000. I was in a similar mm -hmm. situation too. I was in a liquor store. I had to shoot out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when you, and like you said, when you put yourself, when you carry that gun, and you got your mind thinking like that, you are gonna end up using it pretty soon. That's and right. you telling him right when you told him that because, but at the same time, he tricking himself that he gotta do it. You gotta do it. So I'm saying your mind, your mind is it's a it's a it's a it's a, a terrible playground to play with. Yeah, that's why we tell people like I be telling my homies all the time like. We probably why they be talking about police. I like man, don't even talk about the police. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, like you know what I'm saying. What you speak or speak on, yeah. it, it go yeah. out to the universe and you mm -hmm. will get it back. You know what I'm saying? So man, it's so talking. crazy. You talk about people. Intelligent. You, you <laughs> talk about the police or talk about the situation. Like mm -hmm. man, I don't know. When I see dude, I'm gonna blah blah blah. He just slapping the walk up. What you yeah. gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Wow, so I just. Crazy. So I be trying not to have my homies talk like that. I be man, mm -hmm. we ain't, I ain't never talk. say no name either, but no. he be tricking himself, but all the time he like we listen to music for um, um entertainment yeah. let the music trigger too though mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah consuming the yeah. stuff and that overtakes his mentality basically yeah. you know that what i'm saying trigger. yeah yeah wow yeah that's all but i'll be more it sound more like mindful. he ain't sure who mm -hmm. he is man who he is right now it seems mm. like he's still in that state of he trying to be billy gangster and this dude and just ain't found out who he is right now, man. Wow. He just going. He allow. He. It sounds like he allowing the world to push his button. And you got to be stronger than that, you know. Like you, you can't. You can't allow that to go down that way. And and I like. I like what Kimo saying. Like Kimo saying already, man. He's saying that he he's not gonna allow that to happen. He just not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that. Like I be trying to be more mindful about things. Like trying to, I, I like I believe in that little universe stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like energy and all that. So mm -hmm. I just be trying to watch what I say. You know what I'm saying? How I say it, because mm -hmm. I know it just be crazy how stuff magically appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were talking into existence, man. Yeah. Even speaking, yeah. but you, you can go as far as thinking it too. Yeah, yeah. you can think it and it'll you know? pop right up. Yeah, that's why we trying to think in millions. Yeah, there you talk go. About, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about the millions. Talk about some money. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you on that one, man. Okay, okay. That's, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Mm. For sure, man. For sure. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were, like, basically saying they wanted something to happen that was good, mm -hmm. but some people and some things came up against them to test mm -hmm. them. All right? So... This person wants to be, you know, grand at, you know, being a chef and stuff like that. But said, you know, there were some things that came up against them. And I told them and I said it. I said, the universe or God will test you to see how bad you really want it. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might say you want a rapper. You want to be a rapper. You want to be the best, the greatest. And then something come up against you where somebody done stole all your beats and all your you know, rhymes. You know, that have no, you like, know what I'm saying? Right and now. you like, said, whoa, going that right now, like, you really want it that bad? Are you going to give it, give, you know? That's what I always say. What? Like, cause I always, like, I think that's why I, always, I should always be putting, that's why we want to put it out faster now because it'd be like, I got on me probably like a two to three year limit before something happened to my computer or something happened to the music. Mm. Where it's gone. So now we just caught it. 1500, 2000 songs, we probably put out none of them. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dang. None of them. And we just lost all this material. Yep. We just yeah. worked for nothing. So yep. each time, it'd be crazy. Yep. Yeah. And I know yep. artists like that. And then I'd be like, man, yep. maybe, um, yep. see how, how maybe you want to see how bad you want it. Like, you took mm -hmm. away everything. So yep. we push harder. Uh, yep. Keep doing it, keep doing it. But I think I just need to drop faster. 
Well, yeah, because the music changed, like the sound changed, and this cats who put they they, they got a, a big database, but it's the it sound dated now. Now it sounds like it's coming out the early two thousand. Wow. You know, it's because you didn't sat on it. Sat on it. You didn't sat and on then, it. No, then, I wouldn't see like mm -hmm. when I was going to uh, school for music in St. Louis. They mm -hmm. told me like because I used to like put. Uh, I used to put uh, uh, the dates on the back of my beats, you know what I'm saying, when I say them. He was like, mm -hmm. stop doing that because you you capping off your music. There's no limit to music, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm right now, I'm like I said, I was, I was still listening to Jesus to this day from 2000, 2005, and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. ain't no real limit on music, you know what I'm saying? It's timeless. That's until you I put agree, your cap on it. But I, I disagree, because uh, it's a sound that come around, just like doo-wop. So like, we did on. Right, if we did a doo wop right now, you would be like, "Well, that that sounds sort of." No, nah, but I'm just saying, like, I ain't saying 60s. everything. But not everything. That's why it's got classes where you can play for the rest of your life. You got movies you can watch for the rest of your life over and over and over Dude. and over and never get old. And that sample, <laughs> oh, you know, them samples be, be you know coming saying? back, don't they? Well, then, yeah, like they so, be using samples in the beats and stuff like that. It just never get old. Yeah. Like she said, it's a cycle. It's recycling. It's like all the words too. that we, we use in, in 2019 was probably used. In, 1916. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's recycling. But you got to mumble anybody. rap on this one. You, you, know you got to hold yeah. your teeth now, man, and mumble rap. You got to not. No, yeah. I'm nah. just like, messing It depends with you. on what type of person you is. I want to say it's changing. Mm -hmm. It's just becoming yeah. the music coming more broader. Yeah, there you Instead go. Instead of it just being just straight hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People just creating genres and creating mm -hmm. sounds, different sounds for you to mm -hmm. listen to. It ain't taking away from what you got, like. Mm, or what the yeah. other rappers doing, just giving you another ear to give you music. another ear. Okay. 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 Where you see the where you see the future of this stuff going, man? What's what's the future of hip hop? We just gonna be making like a beat noise or something. Right now they I, mumbling, man. I, I, and, nah, I just yeah. like it's crazy. Like I think you can do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like because I just heard Kanye West put out a song. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That dog on song, he told us a doody, doody, bebop, bebop, yeah, bebop. Like, and I said, a, man, what is this, song, man? It's a real song, it got millions of views. Yeah, he's talking about you know some doody, doody, bebop, bebop, bebop. He's not just focusing on just us brown people. You feel me? Uh, but I don't know who he was focused on with that, man. Like, <laughs> Marshall no, or somebody, yeah, like, man. That was amazing. I, I, I ain't heard it. Like, I heard like, it. Do -op, do -op. You know, uh, Drake wanted that beat. He That's why he did that. He's Drake... Drake wanted that beat, man. So uh, he just went over and messed it over. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that was. Like. Yeah. Music, music, I know what you're talking about, too. Yeah, I'm man. Like, man but some people do one. make music for different genres, like Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. he, got, he got like a whole white rock band wave. Oh, album. yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. And look, Rebirth album. Yeah. And that's good, yeah. though. Because yeah. it's music, and music is for everybody, though. And yeah. it's just not for one culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some of that stuff that we. Like don't that. listen to a lot more people around the world listen to that though you know you like, can go you know, to so africa and probably be like booming and banging you know there's somebody that got a deal making thousands of millions of dollars that you can make a song better than facts i wouldn't doubt it i know how to do poetry i know how to i ain't i, I don't know how to do no that, that's like, that's like nothing, that, um, but that, i know how to write Nas poetry do with the country music song oh it? uh and billy ray cyrus yeah doing but it he together? had to get billy ray on the song because they said he was he, he made number one by himself Mm -hmm. But they took it off because they said, the country billboard. They said it wasn't country. It wasn't country. They said they thought uh, it was doing parody. So yeah, he went and got Billy Ray on it, which made it a real country song, I guess. Because mm. it's a country singer on there. No, Billy it's Ray. A white dude. Billy Ray came to him. Yeah, we came Billy to him. Billy Ray. Yeah, Billy Ray said he around though. Yeah, Billy Ray said they, 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 they did a document on him. So a little, a little document. Hold on, on, you gotta tell me again. It's what? A, like, so he that, uh, he had to go to somebody else. No, no he was yeah, the number one was song on the. Uh, Country, country radio, radio. radio. That song. but they took him off. They took him off because they say he won country. So Billy Ray, Billy Ray heard about it and he said, "Man, this song about my life." And so he called the kid up and got on the song, mm -hmm. Which, okay. and then went back to number one. So I can't stand when people make limits for something. So he made number one mm -hmm. in the country mm -hmm. for a country song, mm -hmm. in which he's not considered country he's black. because he black. And he's a supposedly hip hop artist no, he, most of the time or something. His, no, or that what? was his first song dropping. I don't know. I don't know, but no, he a country. That's that's what he does. That's what he, he does. He's just black. He's just black. Mm -hmm. 
Hold young, on. Probably like 19, 20. So he already a country country musician, but they just. Man, I don't know where he nope, came from. No, nope, I, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. It's because of the skin. He's from Atlanta. And it's because oh, right. of the skin, yeah. right? Yeah. He's he from Atlanta. Atlanta. He uh he uh got that beat off uh he asked a beat he got off YouTube or uh, uh Facebook somewhere. Mm -hmm. But since he was black, that's all. He was since he was Asiatic, he wanted to get he was it. Was making fun of country music. So what? Y'all do it all the time. Don't really don't. All right. No. No. no, he was really making a song. That's a song. That's a song. I'm 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 done. I ain't even finna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Don't get me mad. Anyway, so WRFU 104.5 that film. All right, this is uh, Conscious Community Connections, mm -hmm. where we keep the community connected. All right, we in the studio right now with Kiki, Tiger, and myself. We also mm -hmm. got Chemo, Draco. Oh, Chemo three, three times. Three X. Three the times. big one. That's right. Dreads and Draco. Oh, Dreads. She did both their names. She put both their names together. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Dreads. He do got Dreads. Yeah. You know? Sorry. Yeah, so we, we doing it big. We talking and um, just, you know, having a conversation. Usually we'll, you know, have a long list of stuff to, you know, ask you. But what happened? You, you got the kids. She got the kids. She got the kids glove on. That's why she keep cutting me off. She don't want me to go in. Need a piece of that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody keep falling back. <laughs> uh oh, she got <laughs> the key blood on for you. you. They trying to ask you a good question, a kind of question, she will fall back and cut in. <laughs> it's seven oh seven. You know what's that though? Yeah, you be coming with some real questions. Who I who comes real quick? Yeah, don't you like the Charlemagne? Then, yeah. then yeah. what she do? She try to deflate, don't you? Mm. She got the kid glove on. She like you, like not like you like you, but you know she trying to. Yeah. Not, oh wow! Well. Yeah. 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 She don't think you okay. I can. Not myself. I answer these questions. I think. So what do you believe in? Oh, uh, I believe in a high power, high, I don't know, something like that. You don't know? Yeah. See, well, I know I know when you talk, right? You always say, I don't know, or stuff. Uh, know. You, but see, right, remember, I, remember, remember you say you got to take certain words out your vocabulary? Yeah. Mm. So you got to take, I don't know, out your vocabulary, mm. all the other stuff out your vocabulary, and uh -huh. figure it out. You ain't never just try to figure it out? I mean, like, that's why I be doing the, the research and stuff like that. I was trying to find myself, you know what I'm saying? Doing a little, a little, uh, uh, like, the, little, like I said, a, a fifth dimension, like, really trying to figure out, because really, I believe, I mean, they probably, it's a higher power, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, but I ain't going to say I'm a Christian. I ain't going to say I'm a Muslim, stuff like that, like, all the way, because mm -hmm. it's past information, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's really what you... I don't know what I know. And for me, I want to know something that's real. You know what I'm saying? So really, I believe, if anything, my mom is my God. This is who I really came from. That's I got cut deep. from the yeah. biblical core. From, you know what I'm saying? It's the first person. Anything else is something I picked up out after her. So, yeah. okay. That's we're going to cut everything out. We're going gonna to strip the music. We're going to strip all the titles. I don't appreciate that, Kiki. And just, he noticed it. And, and just tell us, who is Kimo? You take away the music, you take away all the titles, working with beats, and when you by yourself, tell us who is Kimo. Um, I, I can't really tell you that because, like, yeah. that's like because, like, that's what I like my whole entire life. But with the music, like, I feel like that's a that's like through the bloodline. So that she gave mm -hmm. that to me. So like, even without the music of rapping, I still got some type of some type of sound in me like that knocking on some beating on some you know what i'm saying like so i feel like i always did the music for my whole entire life if anything that's my face card music you know what i'm saying okay you said your mom gave you that like probably like it's my blood like my auntie she used to be a singer out here okay uh vonda right you know what i'm saying like okay. back in the day she used to travel and stuff like that my auntie she used to work in at motown way way back in the oh, day that's what's stuff up. like that's that what's up. so they inspired you so they get inspiration. Planted the they planted it's seed. hereditary. They planted yeah, the seed. Yeah, I probably get it from. Hmm. I, don't, 
I probably don't I don't know. It's just something I like to do is like mm-hmm. I can't There you go, I don't know. I can't like I can't say I cause I never heard my auntie like okay, I heard her sing, but I never like seen her acting like at a show or nothing like that. She was singing around the house and stuff like that. Right. I was too I wasn't even born yet, you know what I'm saying? But my inspiration probably did come from the family first, because that's where I first heard it from. But uh yeah, my auntie, my mm-hmm. cousin, my then my cousin, he, he be saying he can blow too. He can go crazy. Um probably them. That's really probably when we get into the music probably early, early, early. Like that's probably why I got so many different styles, like probably the rap love, right. melody stuff here and there. Right. Then you can go back to the old school and add that together and up that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh oh, she tapping on the desk. You in trouble, dude. Yeah, so uh, I like that. I like that though, man. So that's, that's you so make it right. Yeah. What is your plans for when you make it? Um my plan for when I make it, like oh um, I'm probably gonna I am probably I need me some buildings. I need me some retail. I mean, some not retail, but real estate, uh, real estate like uh, okay. some apartments. That's smart, man. Cause like I always, like I always be saying that now. Like I, if I had some money, I'd probably invest into like some apartment buildings on campus. Yeah. Cause everybody man. needs somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs somewhere to live, so you don't always make money off housing. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Probably do that. Uh, probably some rice to rice, cause I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, and then. Uh, you see yourself giving back to the youth? Uh, Hold on, yeah. sorry, sorry. Did I already do my uh, WRQ? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Man. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that bad now. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I give back now. to the youth like. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably, I am. Oh, man, you gonna get some trouble. You gonna get it. Go get a beat. Uh, you know we already like. Uh, so how you gonna get back to him? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, like I'll probably have like try and get stuff built, like especially mm-hmm. for champagne, like to me. Reason mm. why so much stuff going on because it ain't nothing to do. Y'all taking away and making people pay to go play in a gym, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Paying for just it ain't enough activity like it used to be. Like people, like we used to go to Douglas, we used to go to the Boys and Girls yeah. Club. Yeah. They don't, I don't see it cracking like that no more. It ain't the same like when we was shorty. We kind of had places to go for the day. Mm-hmm. Right. Remember, like, mm-hmm. like remember Mission One Eighty stuff like that. Like kept kept you busy. Mm-hmm. Try they try to keep you busy, but at the community, but. Now and they don't do none of that no more. And then, like I said, they make you pay, so it ain't really too many basketball gyms. Or you gotta try and go on campus. You need an iCar. You need and it's a dub. Like I'm mm. just trying to hoop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to hoop. Trying to bust a sweat. So I know you. I, I know you mentioned. You said you go on YouTube and get a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. You ever read any books? Like uh, what, what, what books you ever read? What, would you read books? Yeah, I, I used to read. I mean, I ain't gonna say that like. Used to read. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna say I used to read. Like I don't read no more. But <laughs> like, uh, I had read the book. Uh, my brother had gave it to me called The Art of Seduction. And then I read some books like. Uh, what was that about? Man, uh, it was about uh, oh, like I don't know. It's some crazy stuff because to me, I'm reading it as like what type of different personalities to persuade or to. Um, deal with that like, different personality that you might run across mm-hmm. probably like, with different females. Oh man, you know I need to read that book. What's the name you read that book for? The Art of Seduction. You read it. I know you oh, read yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like yeah, yeah. kind of a way how you can seduce all I think that I was number six on that, man. <laughs> so, you, so, you, so, you into, so you into seducing women, huh? Oh, I like Clearly. number six. I'm going to ask some questions. I like number uh, six. Check man. that out. Uh, I mean, I like, yeah, I love females, so yeah. So you want to seduce him? I mean, not seduce so him. It's just like, I don't know. Like, he gave me the book to, like, I don't know. He just said you should read it. I actually saw the book. I was like, pink black. What are you doing with this book? And then I kind of started reading it. Like, I'm like, damn, this is, this is these different type of females I deal with on a daily basis. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm going to deal with females, I'm also trying to somehow learn it. You feel me? <laughs> That right. book get deeper to the mind, man. I mean, hey, you get into yeah. the mindset oh, and you, hey. you get into. That's what's the name, darling. Oh yeah. Come on in. Oh yeah, that's uh, oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> now that's for uh, Karen Emmons, though. That's good people, man. Yeah, yeah. We better have the thing over there. There's another book. And what what, what was the book? book, 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 book? Forty Eight Laws of Power. Yeah. You read that yeah. before? Nah, that see, one. like, um. So you just read books about how to seduce women? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah I'm nah. just asking. 
I don't read um some little urban novels. You use urban novels? Yeah, man. But that's probably if I was on the streets, I could probably if I was to go to the bookstore, I would probably get one of them, or I would probably get the artist introduction again. That was a good book to me. It worked in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> Good so, thing so you, I'm cool. quiet. That's that psychology. No, you can say something. Yeah, like, I feel like I, 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 was, kid gloves I was going almost like, like I was going like when I went to college, I, I like almost took psychology, but mm -hmm. I, I, I took psychology. I ain't do it because in high school <laughs> I failed it because like they was talking so much in the class. You take psych, psych one more. By the time they ended up, it's a whole test, and I don't even we just had a whole conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't got nothing to do with it. Psych is just psych, psych is man, deep, deep man. Yeah. To what motivate the person? I took that class. Take sociology? Man. No. Took that. Mm -hmm. Learn about the norms and add norms to people. Uh, you reading them type of books that she want? She want? I'm I mean, serious. Like, yeah. It's different cultures and, and different cultures and stuff you got to deal with. All right. Like, women, women coming all all safe sizes, no, colors, forms. No, I'm talking mentally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause if you if you look at the safe side and four, you gonna be in trouble. I'm not. Really, I, was, I was talking to say like with the book. I was just gonna tell you, it comes in like trapped. they like it's like different. Like you know, oh, like you, you what is it called? Like the Lysias, whatever. What? Like, you know, like the uh, Odysseus. You know what I'm talking about? It's a. Um, is it like a myth or something? Yeah. Mythology type yeah. thing. Yeah. Where you could be on a boat. Oh, Ulysses. Ulysses. Yeah. 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 But, like, it'd be like, you know, his wife. I don't remember, like, the story or anything. Yeah, but, but it was stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. but it was put on perspective like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, I don't know. I just, I, I just like, I don't know. I just like to think about, I ain't gonna sound like a manipulator or nothing like yeah. that. Please don't. I'm on radio. <laughs> Hey, I ain't trying to grow your game. <laughs> no, I'm just telling him don't say that. You shouldn't even say that at all. You put, see, no, because no, I was game. getting to the point of then y'all talking about the brain and mind, so I really agree about it. I, like, I had to make that be clear. I'm yeah, not yeah, I'm glad you said that. I'm not a manipulator, nothing like that. I just like, no. I'm deep into the mind, so instead of really looking at y'all, I want to know what's about you, like really what's tapping into your brain, help you tap into your You see yourself getting married? I don't know. I think that's a title thing. Like I could be married to a girl with no ring. Yeah, yeah. that's how you could be. I think ten years make you married. I think. Mm. Be, I think. No, I don't mm. think ten years make you married. You can be somebody ten years. I ain't love him. Mm. Uh, right mm. too. Mm -hmm. I think if you love somebody, you know what love is. A feeling. A feeling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's easy. Love is easy, man. Love is action. Mm. That's what you show. Yeah, love is action. But. But what? Uh -oh. There's, but there's it down. differences with the love. Different love. It could be action, mm -hmm. all right, and it is action. Mm -hmm. But there's different ways in it's which people like actually what? like emotional messages. Shut up! <laughs> Dang! There's different ways people can actually show you that they love you, and there's different ways that they perceive love too. All right. Uh -huh. How do you perceive love? Mine's is action. You gotta do something for me. Ain't no, ain't no huggy. All of that and sit down and cuddle me and that's stuff. Catch, I like it. That's gonna catch you up. It ain't love. That's my language. Your language? You like cuddle? No, I don't oh, want to cuddle. You she, have she to do something for me. Nah, she wants she want something. Mental. You know? Uh, I'm I know what you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you, you in can. a minute. Just you stop can. all of this. See, they say Just work. be quiet. So look, 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 see, <laughs> he about to get some. <laughs> You see his key hey. Yeah, man. He talk crazy on the radio. No, it ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. Yeah, they not take. Like, look, nah, well, Views nah, look, Express are look, the, of those of the know, speakers she, she and are not playing. intended to represent yeah. WRFU, UC, IMC, or Love is something that never change. Dang. Hey. Right. Don't try to do me, Keith. No, I'm serious. Love is something that never change. Love is like everything. You feel for a person mm -hmm. no matter what y'all going through. Is there limits to love? Oh, who told you that? No, that was a question. Oh, no, no, ain't no such thing limits to love. Some people do. But a lot of people, I, think, well, I know. I, I would think, no, nah, I would think a lot of people confuse love with lust, though. Back to where you There you mm -hmm. go. Yep. There you go. Look, mm -hmm. there we go. Because no, you right. really think you love somebody, right. but this ain't even that. So, like, you, 
you steady doing wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't even gotta so be hurt. So is all you infatuation is all infatuation based off of the sexual part, or nope. could it be so? Uh, mm. How how else can you be infatuated you, you with can a be, person? You can be infatuated. You can be infatuated with someone. Men, and, and different level. You can be fat with them sexually. Mm-hmm. You can be fat with them financially. You can be fat with what they they doing for you at the moment of time. Mm-hmm. And the only time okay. you think about that person, what they can do for you, no matter what they doing, either f- or stimulating your mind, getting you money, or just being there. That's all levels. Everything got levels of it. Mm-hmm. Infatuation is so cold that you can be so infatuated, you, you can be tricky. Thank you, love. I guess that's up. Yes, sir. You, I was listening to a song. Yes, sir. I ain't got time. I was listening to a song from 21 Savage, right? He, he, he said, he said, he said, he a brother. I, mean, I felt him, though. Mm. He said, he a brother to have somebody that's just loyal to him, to love him because, like, you can love me and still, like, like, Harvey. if you loyal, yeah, if you if you loyal to me, like, you still gonna have, like, my best, and what's in my best interest for me, like, but you see, ain't gotta have what's in my best interest for me if you just love me. That just, that, that how, how can somebody be loyal to you if they don't love you? Um, no, see, I see, got to see, what, what I'm saying, though, but you going what he said, right? Yeah. what he said, right? Yeah, you, so, I like how you talk though, and I think you, 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 you really, mm-hmm. I think you really would have like liked to do it, like what he said though. Not, I said you would agree with. No, nah, because I really don't because loyalty, I'm about to say it wrong. Lo- loyalty come nah, with love. You said it right. You said it right. You said it right. But loyalty, loyalty come with love. Like, no, nah, that's not necessarily <laughs> true. But look, look, take, take mob, take, take a mob boss or a king. Everybody loyal to that mob boss. Yeah. That don't necessarily mean they don't love him. They can be scared of that's, yeah, fear that, too, that's fear too. You know, fear See, yeah. brings loyalty too. Fear brings loyalty too. So it's it's a blow. That's what I'm saying. So why man. why would you want loyalty without love? Hmm. That's what I was why trying to get to. Love without loyalty. Well, exactly. One got to go hand in hand. Mm. So I'm saying. Mm. I will. And if I, I had to pick. I almost would. Probably loyalty. Pick? Would you? Probably loyalty. So mm. describe loyalty now. We we gonna switch up now. You got you got you got you got you got anything that that do with me. You you. You want the best for me, my best at interest, or however you say it. But like people that love you, like that's probably be the most people that done hurt you in your life. That's true. Okay. That's true. But hold on. It's trick. Hurt. It's tricky. Hurt. Mm-hmm. Maybe when even got down or about... even got got over. I don't know. I don't know y'all. Yeah, know I know what you're life. saying. I know. I know what you're saying. I ain't gonna say that. Everybody mm-hmm. gonna hurt you though. No. No. no hold you. on. You gotta. You gotta think about it. Someone's gonna hurt your feelings Someone because does. you might. You might want something like real, real bad, and they like, no, nah, I can't give it to you right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. You know, and you mm-hmm. like, dang, that hurt a little bit, but I mean, are you like gonna that, still sit around? That's around. Expected something from you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. person yeah. still probably loyal to you. Exactly. But at the same time, still loyal and loyal to you. They just can't do it. It's my tell. It's my tell. You know they ain't loyal. If, oh. chemo, if I put him on chemo right now and told him, man, I got, some, I got some beautiful static with these guys right now. Why did he ban? He mad, Joe. I ain't coming. That don't mean he ain't loyal. Exactly. Like, before yeah. he left, he probably told me, like, bro, shit, bro, you shouldn't go. Yeah, you got your best interest in you know, you got your best interest in yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? See, that don't mean yeah. you loyal because you love me. If you yeah. go, that don't mean you really love now, me. Now, if you love you, you're going to tell you the same thing, man. We don't go over there. Mm-hmm. But I'm yeah. saying, like, whenever you have a relationship, we could we could take this, for instance, your mom and, mom and son, mm-hmm. and she say no. That hurt your feelings, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was some type of hurt there, right? Yeah. When you mm-hmm. get into a relationship with a female, you know what I'm saying, and she hurt your feelings, that's some hurt right there. But that don't mean that they don't love you. Because they're not no. trying you to hurt your feelings. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because they're not trying, trying to hurt your feelings. They're not though. trying to hurt your feelings, yeah. but you were hurt. You I mean, were still that, hurt. That, you, you get what I'm saying? Feeling, but it ain't like somebody that's intensely trying to hurt you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I get what you're yeah, saying, yeah, but I was just trying things. to make like, sure that you understand you're going to get hurt regardless oh, yeah, because yeah. everybody's not going to do what you want them to do and what you need them to do. If it's in my best interest, then good. Even if it hurt my feelings, if I sit back and reflect because I ain't dumb, but I reflect on it and Oh mm-hmm. yeah, but that's just no, uh, that's loyalty. For sure. And love. Bro, one sure. wrong. You showed told me sure. not to go. I, I had to call him. Yeah, bro, school. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it is a blood. Like why, I just said it too. It's a blood line between them all. Love. Why are people so scared? Love. Why are people so scared of love? Because some they never experienced. Or probably because it hurt. Mm. I don't know. Love don't hurt. Mm. Love do. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. we say, just said love said. hurt. No love. Love okay. don't hurt intentionally. Love, love Thank not hurt. you. Love Clear not, it up. Love not, listen, love not Clear hurt intentionally because a, a person, you. see, people have got different emotions and feelings. When you did. Everybody's different. Yes. You can be with somebody all their life and don't understand what, what really hurts them. Like, I could be with a woman and every day I tell her I love her and give her flowers and do something. One day, 
I might forget. That'll hurt her, but she know I love her because my mind was somewhere else. So love don't hurt. Mm -hmm. Love if you love somebody, you ain't gonna intentionally hurt them. Thank if you know, if I know, if I know this, like, if I me and you was together or something, and I know, okay, I know you don't eat meat, and I, I go cook something, and intentionally put some uh, meat grease or pork grease in it. Why would I do that? That's intentionally. But if I like unconsciously don't know something, it don't. You not you not you not love somebody intentionally hurting them. Love you don't love nobody intentionally hurt them. That's why I say love don't hurt. Mm -hmm. You might hurt somebody like unintentionally like but well, I didn't know that before this and that. But you're not gonna love somebody intentionally like he said like he said earlier, you love somebody you, as you messing up. So if then you really don't love you just in fact what that person can do for a moment of time. Mm -hmm. That's that's the moment of space y'all taking up with each other. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody got a girlfriend in here, right? No, I guess no. everybody's single girlfriend? in here. She <laughs> said, has that all. She's gonna kill me. My <laughs> my preferences don't need to be, you know, we like know, spoke we, about. We know you got a boyfriend, Heather. Dang. Look, I'm single. Well, single. well, we, well it's almost over with. You gotta yeah. leave us with something positive, man. Yeah, yeah. leave us on a positive note, Kimo. Stay black, stay active. <laughs> stay good. dangerous, Jeez. man. Keep doing something. Just stay moving, man. Just keep your feet moving wherever you got going, man. Never stand still, man. Just, just keep it going up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no limit to going up. It's the limit to the bottom, though. Mm. <laughs> you rock the bottom. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Mm. Yeah. Ain't no limit to the top, though. So right, right. Keep going. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Kiki. Since you've been running your mouth, what you got? Mm, I can't even come behind that. That was too good. That was good, man. <laughs> man, was main good. thing in life, man. Main thing in life, know thyself. Mm. Once you learn yourself and understand your limits of what you can do, there will be no limits in what you can't do. Man. So know thyself, man. Understand the things that you can do and control. Peace. What you got? I ain't got nothing. I'm gonna leave it right at there. I'm gonna leave it right there and, and, and let us marinate on that one, man. Yeah. Oh, happy June, Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. uh, happy fa man, dang, happy oh, yeah. Father's Day. Father's Day. Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there, man. Right, you know, man. That, that, uh, just taking care of that kid. Right. Not just because you, you know, you dropping the loads off in them. Happy Father's Day actually take, I ain't talking about from, uh, financially. I'm talking about taking care of your kids really mentally. Yeah. Spending time with your kids, talking to them, understanding them, monitoring the things they're doing. And don't be so judgmental towards your children and right. open up the limits to them. Mm -hmm. And explain things to them you tell them no. Just don't tell them no and that's your word. You, you gotta explain things to children. You was a child once before too. You didn't like no. All right, facts, all right. right. That's all right. Yeah, it's true. It happy, is definitely now. happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. If anybody yeah. got any kids in here, happy Father's Day to y'all. Yes, happy, happy Father's, Father's Day, Day you guys. Everybody. everybody that's listening and in here with kids. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Not me. I oh, we gotta let, let Draco say something on that, man. Draco, oh, no, you no, say no. something? No, no, right, no. Man. Man, it's been a, yeah, go ahead, man. Man, it's been a good day, man. Fucking messing with y'all today. That's all. Hey, that's what's up. Thank I'm you. glad I'm glad my boy three got me over here. Yeah. Hey, man, we glad you came. I enjoyed man. myself. Yes. Yeah. yeah, great. We get into these conversations. I like up these here. convos. It, it, we, it do get these, deep. we do these though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we do these all the time. Anytime, man. Yes, yes. It yeah. get deep. It yeah, get deep. Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't too far off in neither though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Great. And uh, where where can they find y'all music at? Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Um, under Kimo Three Times. That's K E M O, the number three, the letter X. And then uh, mm -hmm. and then you can find me on SoundCloud too. Okay. Uh, under the same thing, you can find me on Facebook under Chemo Smith, uh, okay. Instagram one Chemo three times. All right, we gonna tag your Instagram too. Probably gotta put you on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we get Draco. Draco music too is over there too. It's on. Uh, yeah, he YouTube. Up under different names. I can't. Yeah, my man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all can find my music probably um here in a minute. But what I got up now, uh, Draco Bang D R E C O Bang B A N G. Okay. And then you you probably can find two or three songs on YouTube under Lil Dre, L I L D R E. One is Family, it's a real banger. All right, cool. That's a what's up, man. And your Facebook? Oh, my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I got Facebook, Draco Bang, D R E C O Bang. Um, 
I got an IG too, but I forgot my name, man. I'm slow on social media. Y'all, yeah, the real Lil Dre. Real Lil Dre. Okay. The real Lil Dre. That's the IG page, man. I got somebody be riding me on this stuff, but I ain't gonna say their name. Man, it's serious though. Instagram is a totally different realm. I love it. Yeah. They said it's almost like the Matrix. It's a totally different realm. So I thank you so much. And it is seven thirty. Well, it's past seven thirty. Um, we are signing off. This is WRFU 104.5 Conscious Community Connections where we hate What was this show brought to them today, by? The show was brought to them by mindfulness. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Be mindful. There's in the sick there's in the cut. Be oh yeah, we got this there. There you go. Um, we <laughs> let y'all know hide out. that you do mindfulness on a daily anyway. You just don't think you're doing it at that time. We're signing out. Be be cool, be peaceful, and stay blessed, love. Right, All right, y'all. Yeah, party up, man. I like that mindful. I need me a mindful shirt. Some mindful shirts. No, I they're don't. Coming. I they're coming. Coming. They're coming, man. Yeah. They're coming. Yeah, we for already sure. on. Okay, bro. okay, we okay. Support the motto. For sure, for sure. We got to take a picture, though. Oh, that's cool. Next time we come back, man, we might be on. We're coming back, though. Okay. All right. Well, you know, y'all know what to expect now, man. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's three times right now. Yeah, yeah Kiki going to take the picture. Hey y'all, I'll see y'all later. We out. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you so much for tuning in, okay? Catch us next Saturday. We'll have a teenager on here, okay? Thank you. Yeah, Chris. Ain't nobody fooling with you.